Letters, Ray to Cheryl, August 5th, 1945, from Arizona, Ray writes, Hi there, prettier than me. Would you like to hear about my birthday party? Okay. I allotted myself $5 Thursday afternoon and took off for town. Was going to have a fancy dinner, a couple of drinks, and go to a show. The restaurant was pretty crowded and there wasn't any empty booth, so an old geezer yelled to me to sit with him. That was Daniel Boone hearing. I sat down and ordered a glass of burgundy to get myself in the mood. Old Daniel gave out with some conversation. The only thing on the menu besides fish was sliced cold chicken and potato salad. I ordered that and some burgundy. We talked some more and I mentioned it was my birthday. More burgundy. Then D. Boone presented himself formally. He told me who and what he was. Sounded interesting, so I asked him some more leading questions. He told me a lot of interesting things that had to do with faith. He told me about cases where patients' faith was in such things as pickled frog legs and turkey innards broth. He had a, he was a faith healer. He didn't have one specific faith. He used a patient's own particular faith and enlarged on it. We discussed Christian science and agreed on not liking it. Then we tore apart psychology and psychiatry and arrived at many astounding conclusions. The old boy is 73 years old and was still going strong, so maybe he knows what he's talking about. When the waitress brought the check, he insisted on paying it. He was on his way to a bunco game, so we parted. So who to thunk I'd be dining with Daniel Boone hearing? Figured you'd need some cigarettes to settle your nerves for the next two weeks, so I went on a raid after dinner. Astounding success. Fooey on rallies. After the raid, I get a bag of popcorn and went to see the great Johnny L. Please don't see it. One look at the hero and we ordinary guys don't seem like much. He's built like this, drawing of a little strong man. You know, Linda Darnell is interestingly put together. After the show, I went to Walgreens and had a banana split. Then I bought a two-bit murder mystery and went back to the field. And that is my birthday party. Hardy's wife was due in last night at 11 o'clock. She flew from Boston. All day he was sweating it out. It reminded me of waiting for you in Florida, so I got unhappy. Gee, I wish you could get in a plane and fly here. Damn it, if I only had a lot of money. I was supposed to go to the dentist this morning, but didn't. I got scared. Dentists aren't nice people. Did you? Do you like small shower stalls? I don't. I like them big so you can bend over without bumping your extremities into the wall. No fine sprays, either. The water should come out in buckets. The one your pop has in the basement is ideal. Spent last evening in the library. Hey, found a book called Shirley by Charlotte Bronte. I'm going to read it today. Gotta find out what kind of a gal this Shirley is. I'll let you know. Gotta go play with some radios now. Thank your mother for the nice card. Is it okay if I write you again tomorrow? Okay, swell, thanks. You're, you'll be so doggone busy you won't have the time or strength to write much, so I'll just have to write twice as much to make up for it. So long, boss. I love you, Ray.